hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me Omo Mirali back again with another video so guys this video mm -hmm. I have been editing it for so long it should have been up weeks ago I'm so sorry and I haven't posted for a month guys I feel so weird coming back here so guys in this video I'll be showing you how I dyed this hair from I don't know if you've seen my Aliexpress video if you have not seen my Aliexpress video please what are you still doing please go and check that video out so you can know which hair this is and the magic I performed on the hair to get it to what it is right now so guys in this video I'll be showing you how I colored this hair and guys if you want to color your hair you have to have a mind of a lion hmm? because it's not for the faint hearted especially when you are doing two colors hmm? this youtuber has been making it seem like it's easy hmm? so let me lie to you it's not easy but if you've decided in your art of art that you want to dye your hair yourself sure you can always pull it off like me i pulled it off and i'm proud to say you can do it too so guys, in this video, I'll be showing how I dyed my hair from blonde. I'm going to link the AliExpress video, the hair review video somewhere here. I don't know. So just check it and you see how I got my, how I got this hair from AliExpress and all the questions you might, and all the questions you might have. I answered a lot of questions in that video. So, and guys, let me tell you, I'm proud of my work. Hmm? See the magic I did? Can you see the magic I created? And it's so beautiful, guys. Oh, let's take a moment to appreciate this beauty and the stress she went through to dye this hair. Hmm? If you want to see how I dyed this hair to this beautiful color, keep watching. So, guys, this is the blonde wig. I'm going to be dying to the blue wig. I'm going into the got to be free spray to spray the lace so the dye does not stain the lace i'm just leaving it to dry then i'm going to place it on the mannequin head and as you can see i kept a nylon on the mannequin head to just make sure that the dye does not seep through the air and stain the wig then i parted the wig into part into different parts where i'm gonna dye now i'm using the indigo blue and the baby blue dyes and I'm using two of these containers and two different brushes because I'm dyeing two different colors and I don't want them to mix together. So now I've finished one layer. I'm just going to do the second layer and just explain through it. I'm going to go into the tip of the, the nick of the air with the baby blue dye and just walk it into the air make sure i don't leave any strands behind top and bottom and just walk after applying it i'm just gonna walk my hand through it to make sure i get every strand that i can and not miss anything then i'm going to go into the other indigo blue color at first when i was applying this dye I was scared this color was not the color and then as soon as the as soon as of the dye says it gives you the perfect blue I didn't expect it and I'm so glad it came out really nice so I was working my indigo blue into the V into the tips of the working my indigo blue dye into the tip of the V leaving See, this is me just checking in to see how we are dyeing. Then, as you can see, I went to the middle of the wig and I just walked my hand through it. So it gives me this ombre effect. Please note, when you are going into the lighter color again, make sure you clean your hands so the dark color does not stain or mix with the lighter shade. This is me just trying to walk the two colors into each other and just going back into the indigo dye just make sure it works this is me cleaning my hand because 
I'm going back into the baby blue. I'm just working my hands through it again. So it has like a seamless blend to each other. Then I'm just gonna go into my comb to just comb it out. I'm using two combs also for this because I don't want the colors to mix. As you can see, I'm using one comb now to comb the baby blue and I'm using another comb to comb the indigo blue. So the colors don't mix. So I'm just going to repeat the same method for the remaining air. And as soon as I'm done with that layer, I just cover it with fur. And I just repeated it for the whole air. Then I'm doing the front. It's practically the same method I did while dyeing the back. But unfortunately for me, my dye finished and I had to make the the little I have. So when I was done with this, when I was done, you could see tiny patches of inconsistency, which I took care of after because I dyed it again using the water the yeah, I dyed it again. Now this is me just rinsing it. I went ahead and just rinsed it first. Then I went into the shampoo. I went into a conditioner to just condition it and wash it again. Let the water run out of it. Then this is me just brushing it because I want to pluck it. Yes, the wig was pre plucked but I don't like how it looks, so I just had to run through it again. This is me just brushing it to make sure I do a very good job. Then I go into my small comb and pat it and start pre plucking. Guys, ignore my pins. I don't have those pins they used to hold and I just had to improvise with this one so this is me just plucking the edges if you want me to do a video of how to pluck your wig please let me know in the comment section so I will do one for you so like I said earlier this is a very tedious thing to do then anyway but if you are dedicated and you are willing to do it why not after plucking the air, I went ahead and I just blow dried it. After blow drying, I straightened it and styled it on my hair, and you will see the final look shortly. So guys this is the end of the video hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned how to dye your hair mm? since you're already here you can as well check out some of my videos up on my page and i will see you on my next one bye guys